Hey friends, today I am hanging out at Disney's Magic Kingdom. It is a hot May day and I wanted to come out and see if anything new is happening in the parks. Ride some rides and eat some food. I know that there is some new merchandise that just got released that's a part of a summer collection. So I think we're going to be checking into that. And also, like I said, we're going to ride some rides. So, let's go do this. I'm very interested in to see what the wait times are. We were just coming off a very busy month in April. And here at the Magic Kingdom, a lot has changed. The People Mover has reopened. The confectionery closed down and is now in a temporary location. We're just going to check it all out. I think I'll swing right into the Emporium right now since there's not a big line and see if we can see any of that new merchandise. Looks like we've got some new merchandise and it looks like it's a summer apparel, like summer merchandise and that gets me excited because I'm ready for summer. A lot of these items are really awesome. I like them a lot. I like the pattern that they got going on. A lot of these items are really awesome and I like the design that they have on it. This nice Hello Summer pillow right here. The Mickey Mouse tray up here. I could use that for my K-Cups for my Keurig. That would be really awesome. They also have a scented wax candle here and it's a little hidden Mickey. Candle is $24.99. I think the tray is $25.99 and then this pillow is uh, $39.99. They also have a lot of new like spirit jerseys, lounge flies, and even ears for the Hello Summer stuff. And I think that one of the shirts I really, really might get. Here are the Hello Summer ears. And I like Mickey actually on these ears. You see Mickey and then Minnie. Minnie's got the flower in her hair there. And then the lounge fly, it's the same pattern. But I really do like these uh, like spirit jersey type shirts. It says, Paradise Summer and look at that. It's very light like lightweight fabric. I might want to get this I mean, it'd be better than the spirit jerseys, but also I do like this one. Oh Wow, these are amazing Even though it says hello summer. It's kind of giving me like an enchanted tiki room vibe Especially when you see the t-shirt that comes with this collection doesn't that look like a Tiki Room shirt? And I like how the font is Walt Disney World. That font is amazing. All of these shirts are actually individually priced like $36.99. And then this one, the button up is $60. And the same thing with the long sleeve. I can't really say this is a spirit jersey, but it's like the spirit jersey. And it has that lightweight material like the one at Animal Kingdom. Now that we got a good glimpse at the Hello Summer collection. I don't even know why I call it a collection. It's just... A Hello Summer line, I would say. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get that button up shirt, but I want to actually hop on over to the temporary confectionery location. Ooh, Mickey's coming. Look at this. Mickey is coming down Main Street. Goofy, Max, and Panchito is up there dancing along with the Mickey cavalcade. I've never seen this before. It's so awesome. Goofy's covering his ears. And look, here comes Mickey. Mickey, Minnie, and Pluto. But now, like I said before, I want to hop on into the temporary confectionery. One reason is because they have an amazing AC vent there that will cool you down real quick and I kind of want to show it to you. But also see if there's any like tasty desserts or snacks that you can get. Most of you know the confectionery is actually closed because it's going through a refurbishment, but they do have a little tiny like mini confectionery right here in the Main Street Cinema, and it's now serving sweets and treats. So we're going to take just a quick walk through. I'm going to show you my favorite AC vent in Walt Disney World, and yeah. I love the Main Street Cinema. Usually they sell a bunch of artwork in here, but like I said, now it's a temporary location for some snacks from the confectionery. Looks like they have a Celebrate Mom sign there. They have cookies and cream marshmallows, Rice Krispie treats, cotton candy, candy apples, all the usual things. But the reason I said that there was an AC vent in here that I like so much is because before I said they had uh, art in here. So they used to sell art and I think they wanted to keep it cool. So if you come stand right below this AC vent, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. I 
promise you, if you come to the Magic Kingdom and you are very hot, just stand here for a little bit and everything will be better. Now we're gonna make our way into the park. Like I said, I'm excited to see what some of the wait times are. Maybe we'll be able to ride Big Thunder Mountain or one of the attractions that usually do have a long wait time, but we're gonna see if we can get on it today and just enjoy Magic Kingdom. I'm gonna head right on over to Big Thunder Mountain because I noticed there were some very angry looking clouds in the sky So we might get a storm later on and Big Thunder Mountain was on the list of rides I wanted to ride today since that's outside. That's one of the rides I don't want to be caught on if it starts raining So we're gonna try to knock that out first and just see what the wait times like Oh, yeah, look at those clouds Disney never gets ruined by the rain if you plan on it You know what I mean? So if I'm expecting rain like I said, I'm gonna try to get the outside uh, Rides done so that way I don't get wet and then hop in a long line like Space Mountain where it's all indoors You won't get wet and you'll kill like an hour of time by that time. Maybe the rain will end. I Know I make it sound like it's real easy, but it's you know, it's not. I mean, there's plenty of times where I was just literally caught in a downpour. It just happens. In Florida, it literally can rain and not rain in within a five minute span. But if it does rain and I end up getting wet, I'm definitely gonna be riding Splash Mountain later. Because one of the reasons I don't ride it as much is because I don't like getting wet. But if you're already wet from the rain, you might as well ride and go down that big drop. Oh yeah. So. Holy moly, as I'm peeking over at Big Thunder Mountain, it looks like it's a 20 minute wait. That is phenomenal. I am so excited for that. 20 minutes for Big Thunder Mountain? That is so amazing. 20 minutes, I'll wait in that all day long. Oh boy, what side? Do we go left, do we go right? She's going right, we're going left. This is such a risk. You never know which one. Oh. Looks like we picked the right one. Oh, maybe we didn't. <laughs> Getting stuck in this corridor right here is the hottest thing ever. Holy moly. <laughs> there is no air circulation in here whatsoever. It looks like they won. Dang it. That was like 15 minutes. And take a look at this, we're in the front row. But actually, we're gonna be in the second to front row. You don't wanna be in the front front because you wanna get a kind of view. When you sit in this front spot there, you don't get a view. It's kind of blocked and obstructed. So that's why I like sitting here. Remain seated with your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the train. And be sure to watch your kids. If any of you folks are wearing hats or glasses, best remove them. Here's a wild. Let's get a good view of the castle. Look at that. And look at those very angry clouds. Oh. Look at that. Here we go. Well, that was nice. Now I get to stop here and just take a look-see. I absolutely love this area over here. I got a dinosaur over there, a nice spring. Very nice. Big Thunder Mountain Railroad, lamp oil. Oh no. They suspended operations? Oh wow. Yeah, super lucky, right? Hi! Happy birthday! 
What did I just tell you guys? Isn't that insane? They suspended all operations on outdoor rides. I can't even believe I called it like that. Right now, they're not boarding anymore. They had an announcement that said, due to inclement weather conditions, all operations have been suspended. So we got a big storm heading our way, it looks like. I'm happy we got to ride when we did. It was so much fun. But wow, now we have to strategize. Are we gonna run to an indoor queue? Or are we gonna risk it? Like the ride is down. I got the rope up and everything. Oh boy, I think I already feel a raindrop. Raindrops falling on my head. Tomorrowland seems like a very far distance to get to, but that is ideal. Like to sit in a queue there for a rainstorm because it's all indoors. I don't know if we'll make it though. Maybe we need to formulate a plan so that we can stay dry and also still have fun. You definitely can feel it in the air. A storm is definitely a brewin. Even Big Al's all wrapped up and closed down operations. Big Al don't like to get wet either. Honestly, I know something I really, really want to do. We're going to head on over to Tomorrowland. We're going to try to ride the People Mover because it's so fun to ride the People Mover. It's kind of an indoor-outdoor ride. You stay covered, you don't get wet, but the queue might be long because that's all outdoors. That plane's not going to work. Oh, what should I do? This is a look at the map right here. Anything that doesn't have a wait time is closed because of inclement weather. So pick Thunder Mountain, Splash Mountain, We'll take a peek over on this side. But the people mover is open and it's a 25 minute wait. I think it's worth the risk. We're doing it. People mover all the way. And then worst case scenario, people mover is right next to Space Mountain. So if it's still raining, we can get off and run very quickly and get in line at Space Mountain. I wanted to take a look to see what the weather was like. And it says that we're gonna be having lightning thunder rainstorms 75 degrees out 81 percent humidity that is insane so that's probably why they shut down the rides so we might as well uh get running and seek some shelter my premonition might come true and we might get stuck in a big rainstorm because i can feel the drops are getting bigger and bigger and more frequent we really got to get there tomorrowland music i can hear it it means we're close even the ducks are trying to seek shelter. Also, Carousel Progress is a perfect spot. Oh, here it comes. Run. <laughs> Looks like we made it. Holy moly. That was a close one here, guys. Very, very close. The best part is now we're going to be able to watch the storm from the people mover. I hope that maybe everyone that's waiting in the queue outside will probably run and seek shelter so when we get off maybe there'll be nobody waiting and we can just get back on how amazing would that be there it is my trusty form of transportation my people mover extraordinaire the opening day that this attraction reopened after being closed for a while is the day a lot of people learned that my name, my YouTube channel, Paging Mr. Morrow, is from this ride. Uh, and I'm gonna make sure to show that once we get inside Space Mountain. But it was so awesome because a lot of people didn't know. And I never mentioned it. I should have mentioned it in that video. But oh well, now you guys know. The more you know. You can see the line was only about a 10 minute wait. Maybe a five minute wait at this point. Oh, nice. Looks like it's just still drizzling out. It didn't really start coming down. I might have ran over here for no reason at all. Looks like all the clouds actually disappeared. That might have been the quickest rainstorm ever. Oh, there she is. Cinderella Castle. Well, I honestly believe the storm ended before it started. That is literally Florida at its finest. My friend Jackie is at another theme park down the road, not too far from here, and she is getting a big rainstorm there. So, I don't know. It is time. Now keep 
a close listen here. Paging Mr. Morrow, Mr. Tom Morrow. Please contact Mr. Johnson in the control tower to confirm your flight to the moon. Did you guys hear that? It said, Paging Mr. Morrow, Mr. Tom Morrow. Please contact Mr. Johnson in the control tower to confirm your flight to the moon. And actually, if we do ride Space Mountain, I'm gonna show you where Mr. Johnson is. Cause he's in Space Mountain. Oh boy, but look at Space Mountain. That's a huge outdoor queue. It says 45 minutes, but I don't buy it. I mean, that seems like it's more or less maybe an hour and a half. It looks like we're coming to an end here and we didn't get rain that bad at all. A little like drizzle, like a sun shower, but that's it. So we really lucked out here. I mean, I guess everyone lucked out because I don't think anyone got wet wet. Well, I feel like a lot has transpired there. Uh, we had this big rush to get over to seek shelter and then it ended up raining for like one second and then it stopped. We did make it to the people mover. So if it was gonna rain, it would have been great to be on there. Disney shut down operation on all of its outdoor rides. I guess the weather didn't get the best of me only. It got Disney too. What a psych out. But then poor Jackie over in Universal Studios says it's a downpour there. I'm telling you. The Florida weather is wacky. I actually believe that that fake rainstorm scared everyone away because now Buzz Lightyear is a walk-on. There's not even a queue. Nobody is waiting in line for Buzz Lightyear. I'm going, I'm, we're riding it. <laughs> this is so awesome. I mean, we really lucked out here. Zerg, you're going down, Zerg. Ooh, hi, how are you? Let's sanitize on this one. Hopefully, I'm able to get the galactic hero status 999,000. Oh, lock and load it. I know how to get the Galactic Hero. I know where I need to shoot, but sometimes it's hard when you are holding the camera. So we're gonna see, we'll try. I know first stop is that little glove on the inside there. Maybe I should do this one too, what do you guys think? I decided to do them both. So I'm a galactic hero two times. Woo -woo. Now we can enjoy the ride. <laughs> oh, look at this. Doesn't that look like the, uh, oh yeah, what is his name, Seymour? Feed me, Seymour. Look at There's a little shop of horrors right there. Oh boy, there he is. He looks menacing, doesn't he? I would not want to anger Zerg. Why does that alien look like he's intoxicated? Everybody say cheese. Oh, that's a little, that's a little bright. <laughs> Look at Buzz Lightyear jumping in the air, about to hit him with his laser beam. We're the best around. I took a picture of my high scores, so now I'm gonna go see if I can claim my Galactic Hero badge. There it is, my official 
Galactic Hero Badge. No! <laughs> now I think I need to start thinking about getting something to eat. I can't believe we completely just dodged that whole entire storm. I feel like so excited about it, but like also, I feel like I made the whole thing very dramatic. <laughs> oh well, anywho, let's look into some food options. Maybe a walk-up list, maybe we'll see if we can sit down at one of the restaurants, or even take a peek see at the quick service locations. One place I haven't eaten at in a while is Sleepy Hollow Refreshments. So maybe we might get some chicken and waffles or a funnel cake. I mean, let's just see what's on the menu, but they've already got amazing things here. And we don't have to worry about mobile ordering or trying to get a reservation. You can just walk up and order your food and sit down and eat. Looks like our choices are a hand-dipped corn dog served with house-made chips for $10.99, a sweet and spicy chicken waffle sandwich with chips for $10.49, and a funnel cake with powdered sugar for $7.99. Looks like we're gonna go sweet and spicy. Bonus, you can also get turkey legs here and just look at all that amazing food in here. Watching them make the funnel cakes and the waffles. Oh, this is much too good. Now I got myself a table and my food's ready. There's a certain way I order the spicy chicken sandwich here because I like to kind of build it myself and I'll show you why. Here it is. You see we got the waffle, the chicken, the chips, and I get the coleslaw and like the uh, sauce on the side. The sauce is mixed with the coleslaw. And the reason I do that is because you notice the chicken to waffle ratio is a little off. So I like to cut the chicken in half and layer it so that you get a little bit of chicken and waffle in each bite then add my ingredients and also grab a packet of syrup because syrup goes great with waffles and that's how I like to do it I like to like I said customize it at the table I would say so I split the chicken and I ended up putting the slaw at the bottom the chicken on top I split it so it covers the whole entire waffle and now we add the syrup and that's the fun part Maybe we'll throw a chip or two on there too, just for a crunch effect. Boy, this is a lot happening here. There we go. We get the syrup, and not a whole lot, just a little bit. You, you, you. Oh yeah, that's the way. Now we're gonna fold it up into a nice little waffle, chicken, potato chip, and syrup taco. Look at this. Oh, perfect. Okay, I'm so excited. I'm diving right in here. I don't know how to get it. Oh yeah, like this. That is so, so good. Ooh, I think the spice is kicking in there. The spice is a little bit inside the slaw, but mostly it's the breading on the chicken. But it's not too spicy. I would say, uh, I'm a mild wing eater, so I eat my wings mild, and this spice is less than that. I like this a lot. One of these days, I'm gonna come, and I'm gonna get a, a funnel cake, and we're gonna add a funnel cake to this sandwich. Man, that would be a lot happening, but it's so, so good. If you have ever eaten down here at Sleepy Hollow, you know one thing for sure, the ducks run the show down here. They control everything. Right now, a duck is supervising a cast member and making sure she doesn't sweep up all of the duck's food. The reason the ducks hang out there is because a lot of things do get dropped on the ground. A lot of food, and they'll come and snack on it, but you should never feed the wildlife here at Disney. It's not very good for them, trust me. So even though they give you those eyes and they look at you like, you can't give them the popcorn. Don't do it. Now we're gonna move along and I'm gonna walk the pathway behind the castle. Just take a look at that view though. This is such a good spot to come and take a photo and just to hang out in general actually. I remember not too long ago this walkway used to be a lot like smaller. Now it's a lot more open and wider and it's cool because it allows a lot more traffic. It definitely comes in handy. And take a look at all the wide open space back here. This is unutilized over here. I mean, at one time they used to have the Bibbidi Boppity Boutique here, I believe. And this used to be kind of like a princess store. They did move that over to the other side. A lot of these stores actually mixed around. Prior to the shutdown, they opened up a PhotoPass studio inside Sir Mickey's. And I don't think that has been opened yet. 
but that is such a cool place. I have never bought anything from Sir Mikey's before, but it's one of my favorite merchandise locations because of the giant. And I'm gonna show you him. Also, I'll show you that photo spot, like the Photo Pass Studio that they opened that still is closed. Right here it is, the Royal Portrait Studio. Hasn't reopened yet though. And I think it, I think they opened this just about a year before the shutdown. Look at how nice it is in there. Beautiful backdrops, nice lighting. They used to have props that you can play around with. It's really nice. Now I'm gonna show you the giant. I'm just gonna show you the general area. You let me know if you do spot it in the comments because it's really awesome. As you can see, we have a very big beanstalk right there. And can anybody spot the giant? He's somewhere in here, peeking out. It was pretty obvious. I'm sure I could have just told you where it was at, but I thought it'd be funny if we played like hide and seek with a giant. Anyway, he's in there, he's peeking at you. Such a cool effect, such a cool theme. Now we're making our way onto Fantasyland. Well, hello there, Birdie. That was kind of cool. The wait times are so amazing here right now. I am shocked. Like, this is a great day to be at Magic Kingdom. Look at this 20 minute wait for Peter Pan. It's not even going into like the uh, Harbor House like it usually does. So I think I'm gonna hop in at 20 minutes to ride Peter Pan. Yeah, I'll do it. We can fly, we can fly, we can fly. Peter Pan 20 minute wait, not too shabby. I think since we're in this area, we'll check on it's a small world since it's right across from Peter Pan. See what the wait time is for that. Looks like it's 15 minutes. So we'll say yes to that. 15 minutes from this point right there. I love coming in here. And I like coming in here just at this time when the, the clock actually goes off. It is like a cuckoo clock. It's so beautiful in here. And look at all the change down there. Did you know that they gather up this change and then the cast members actually vote on what charity they donated to? So it's really exciting. I'm gonna try to look it up to see which charity they donated to last. It's really awesome. It's a great thing. So throw it in there if you got it. It looks like the last time they donated the change from all the wells was to a homeless charity to help provide Thanksgiving dinners. Isn't that amazing? $20,000. All the loose change from It's a Small World to the Wishing Wells. Very cool of Disney. Oh boy! Ah, here we go! Are going super fast. Look at this. You spin me right round, baby, right round, like a record player, right round, round, round. I sometimes try to focus on things I've never noticed before, and I never noticed this guy moving his feet. That is so amazing. Also, I never noticed any of this. Usually I'm looking to the right, this time I'm looking over on this side. And I'm glad I did, because it's all like a new experience. One of my favorite movie scenes of all time is in Tomorrowland, when they're actually riding It's a Small World, and they like pull a lever, and the boat drops down into this secret underground layer so that they can travel to Tomorrowland like a secret society. And I think it was so awesome. I wish that would happen for us right now.
if I was to point out a favorite scene in It's a Small World, I would say it's this one right here. I love how the cow uh, is just shaking <laughs> like her head, but also I love this bird right here. Is it an ostrich, an emu? I don't know, but I, I just like the way it moves. Are those ducks or are they platypuses? They look angry. Why are they throwing eggs too? There's a lot of questions to be asked right now, but don't they, they, they really do look like they're angry. Look at my name came up. That was a nice relaxing boat ride. I can't believe how hot I am. Like it is so humid out. When I got to the park, it was in the high 90s. Now it dropped down to the 70s, but I've been worn out all day. I think I'm gonna start heading for Main Street, USA. Gonna walk through the castle to get back down on the Main Street. Take a look at this, isn't it beautiful? Definitely a little bit busy in this corridor though. Well, I guess that's gonna do it for me today. It's a small world, it was a lot of fun, and I'm glad I got out of the heat a little bit. It definitely got darker and a lot cooler. I suggest coming here later in the afternoon. 97 was too hot today. Like, I was seriously so hot. I shouldn't have wore the spirit jersey. That was the biggest mistake probably of the night. Anywho's, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye!